Samangari
All right, so this is after a couple hours of letting the paint cure and dry. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, oh, by the way, if I sound kind of odd, it's because my allergies are kicking in. Uh, anywho, so the the only complaint I have with this is that it, it seems a little too mixed in with each other, the green and the yellow. Um... I probably would have liked a stronger yellow accent because right now it kind of looks just too uniform, I'd almost say. But it does look pretty good for, you know, combat worn. Um, this actually, the Dunn Edwards paint here is actually a, uh, an interior water base, I believe. So the more your hands sweat, and if you have this out in the rain, the more it's going to smudge and, and kind of wear itself down. The scotch Bright pad is it, probably just under the um, grid that you would need. Um, but it, it does pretty well for what it's supposed to do. This is kind of just a test run, just to show you what you can do. Um, that being said, I, I do wholeheartedly recommend uh, Arizona Response Systems paint kit. This is just kind of, this is actually based on a tutorial that he put out a little while ago and he gives you the exact color codes that you use um, for the Dunn Edwards paint so basically if you want to do a furniture set but maybe you don't want to do the whole gun um, you know the 8 ounce color samples at 4 dollars is probably your best bet and it's a lot I mean the samples are a lot for what you get um, so, I actually have another furniture set coming in. Um, I've put together some South African R1 furniture for the Imbel that I'm going to show off soon. 
Um, but overall, I'm I'm actually very impressed. Um, like I said, this isn't probably this is probably not as durable as what Mark Graham's selling. That's you know depending on how you look at it, that might not be a bad thing because if you want to take this paint off easily, um, you can do it fairly easily with the Dunn Edwards stuff. So um, I might wear this down more. I don't know, but honestly, for a first time go and um, first try. And that didn't take long at all. I mean, I used the t-shirt method. <clears throat> Supposedly, that's what they used um, at the time to warn t-shirts. Um, I know that Mark likes, uh, prefers to use brushes. You can certainly do that with a Dunn Edwards uh, paint. It just depends on what you're going for. But this, this is a really good combination of combat art and battle worn. Um, and I didn't have to do too much wear because the scratches on this Imbel set is already... The scratches are already there. The work's already been done for you. So, if you can, pick up a set. And, um, you know, for about 10 bucks or so, um, you know, minus tax and shipping, you can do the Baby Poop Road Pad Camo just like this.